MixNetRadio.com with Andrew and Lee. Talking boxing, combat, sports, comedy, football, and everything kick-ass. All on FightNetRadio.com. Fight Net! Las Vegas discount dot net's the best there is. Save up to 50% on your next Vegas trip. And travel, rental, shows, and tours. Find the deals you're looking for. Las Vegas discount dot net. Las Vegas discount dot net. If you're going to Vegas for deals that are the best, visit Las Vegas discount dot net. Hola, soy Julio César Chávez. And lights out, baby. Lights out all day. This is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's a radio show. It ain't a one-hour television spectacular. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. We gonna know. I got eyes and ears everywhere. I got friends all over the world, man. Who oh, gives a shit with Whitey's? A piece of crap. Hi, this is Susanne Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on FightNetRadio.com. You are listening to Ken Norton on FightNet Radio. And I've been thinking that I would come out of retirement just to knock out Lee Honey. Hi, everybody. Welcome to FightNet Radio. Lee Honor, Andrew Labashay, bringing you the final time this show will be recorded on this computer. If it kills me, Andrew. I'm losing my mind. Go to fightnetradio.com. That is our home. Click on the Facebook link. That is where you will find us all day long, every day. We really have no life. That's the truth. Andrew posts, I post. We find stuff. Uh, we keep track of Jesse Vargas. I mean, really important shit, Andrew. Uh, how are you today? Very good, Lee. How is the Bay Area? <laughs> the Bay Area is fine. Everything That was is me good. stalling for coffee. Wait, let me do that again. How are the Raiders, Andrew? Nah, they're doing good. What's from a card? Uh, they announced today that the Raiders have sold $284 million worth of luxury suites and PSLs, which is a great thing. Um, I know I know that the uh, casino, what is it, Caesars Palace, bought a suite and some endorsements for $100 million. Um, so I don't know how much of that 284 is just the 100 million coming from one guy. So, but whatever the case, that's some positive news for you Las Vegas Raider fans out there. Um, there's still a 278 million dollar lawsuit on on the table though they haven't gotten done with. So, eh, it's a little give and take today for Mark. I can completely understand. Mark has a rough life, man. You need to <laughs> you need to go easy on him. Ah, no, well, I'm just reporting. That's all I'm doing for you, Lee. Um, th- it's uh, it's never been uh, clean cut. This is done. We're out. It's never been that. They like reporting it that way, but it's never been that way. But that is some positive news. In, in, a, in a project that hasn't seen too much, hey, let me tell you, they're saying April 2021 is a completion date now. That's getting very close to the 21 season. Um, so don't be surprised you see the Raiders in Oakland until 22. They're already in April. They're not halfways complete. Anything can happen. Um, we see what, what the president's doing right now. Anything can happen. So go ahead, Lee. It's Hi, everybody. Like Welcome to... Oh, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. You were stalling for me to drink coffee. Yes, I was. Catch- I was. Hey, I tried to make something out of you it. You did good. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to Fight Night Radio. My name is Lee Honors. That is Andrew Labashay. Uh, I am the cynical, idealistic, comedy ha-ha guy. He is the uh, passionate writer. Together we have been doing this now for, ooh, I don't know, 12, 13 years. 13 years, yes, sir. 13 years, Andrew, 13 years. A myriad of co-hosts, a myriad of interviews. All I'm trying to do is make a few of you laugh. So was the biggest highlight of the week before we begin the fact that our Sunday show was liked by one of the bench guys from the Golden State Warriors. That's awesome. Yes, I seen that. Thank you. Does for that, that dude even play? Yes, he does all the time. Does he? 
Hold on, I'm gonna look him up real quick, just because I thought it was cool. He got uh, Jonas he got uh, Jerbko. Did I say it right? Yep. Jonas Jerbko. Shout out to Jonas oh, Jerbko. No, it's German listener. Kanko. It's, it, isn't it like German Kanko or some shit? What, whatever. There's a name in there, yeah. I'm assuming that he listened to the show or it showed up in somebody else's feed and he clicked the like. He didn't click the like button. He clicked the love button, which is even crazier. No, he clicked the like button. All right. Never mind. Uh, so shout out to Jonas and uh, your Golden State Warriors, who will now be advancing to the finals. <sighs> so you take away two key players, and you guys are still the most. Do you most think he plays us team. on the bus? Do you no, think if, if I Draymond? Don't, I don't if, think. Do you think Draymond, if Draymond Green and Curry? I don't know. Hey, but Lee, what if they're like Wilder's awesome? Yeah, Wilder, Wilder, and like Jer- uh He was like, "Nah, listen to this." Beep. You think that happened? No. Maybe on their no shit. I don't. I'm gonna show it just because everybody probably <laughs> thinks we're just talking shit for the sake of talking shit. If you're not watching the video of this show, we do cut up pieces and make them available to listen to for replay. Uh, we also put the show in its entirety. Go to fightnetradio.com, click on the Facebook link or the YouTube page, and you can watch the entire show in video. I'm gonna show the Jonas tweet because uh probably unliked it since i've mentioned it right oh man when did it happen nope there it is it's a real thing bro jonas jerbko liked the tweet i mean i was kind of shocked by it i mean look bogut look at bogut seen it too i'm telling you they listen to us on the bus dude nobody's listening to this show bro yeah they are he's one of two likes okay that's crazy (laughs) The other guy is Diamond Details, who is literally as borderline a stalker as we humanly get. So, uh, so shout out our, to uh, our numbers Watso are up. Detailing, at Watso Detailing. I don't even know the dude's real name. Arbitrage for Life uh, at Watso Detailing at Diamond Details. He's in Washington. That's all I know about him. He doesn't put his name anywhere, which is really kind of bad if your business is detailing. <laughs> I don't know how to find you as a business or give you a shout out. Dude, this dude's a stalker. Look at his timeline. He tagged me in everything. It's kind of awesome, though. It's I mean, awesome. I like making. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these, Andrew. <laughs> oh, you got a shout out, too. Epic rant from Andrew Labashe. Look at that. Hey, if these you up send his name and information about his detailing business. <laughs> I will send, Dude, we get um, a little more time on this show. I'm just saying out loud, bro. Just saying out loud. All right. Let's get to our uh, featured story on Fight Net Radio. Right? Would you rather I got do breaking dessert? news. I got breaking news. Do you All have right. breaking news? Do you have news about Deontay Wilder's viewership? Viewership. No, I do not. Do, yes. I got to look that up. Deontay Wilder yes. views. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's go straight to news and see if it's. If it's real news or fake news, because Andrew has a number. Um, no, there's nothing showing up. Oh, come on. You got to uh, put a little bit more than that. Deontay Wilder. I should be able to just type before. in Deontay Wilder in news <laughs> and have it blow up in front of me, Andrew. Well, it's on their website, so it's somewhere there. You're not on Showtimes? It. Yeah, uh, it's on boxing, fuckboxingscene.com. Fuckbox. Well, that's because they're connected with the PBC, dude. So it's so going to be a fake number. There's no way I'm going to believe this number. Well, that's great. What do you think the number is? Before you look, what do you think the number is? Ball I'm going to say that they're going to say 2 million people watch the fight. Yes, sir. The heavyweight championship. Let's go ahead and find it now. There's no doubt in my mind that that's what they're going to say. Keith All right, so, wrote it. Story. Of course. He's the biggest fucking shill for that. For this group. Oh. For those of you who don't know, while I look this up, uh, boxingscene.com is owned by CBS slash PBC slash Al Heyman. I'm just saying it right now. It's a CBS broadcast. I'm not saying that CBS doesn't want to be in boxing news. I'm just telling you it looks highly suspect. I don't see the story, Andrew. I don't see it either. So I'm going to just tell you what it is. All right. So fuckboxingscene.com for those no, of you. Or should I send it to you? I'm gonna send it to you. Boom. I'm gonna send you the link. All right. Boom. Great. Boom. Boom. 
Yeah, this is good radio, you guys. This is, that's sound it's, effect. It's good radio. It's not good video. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what it is and what it isn't. Good radio. Here it comes, video. Lee. Boom. Sent. All right. All right. <laughs> Hopefully your phone is faster than your computer. All right, so go ahead and talk about what the number is while I try to look this up on my. I'm I'm assuming you sent to. Did you send it to my iCloud account or did you send in it to my Yahoo account? I sent it in a text. A text. You sent yeah. it as a text. How yes. is a text? So you can oh. read it over the phone. Uh, you oh, can okay. read it. It is unboxing scene by Keith Eidick. All right. Um, well, I don't want to give these guys any time. I mean, I don't want to give them any time. Come on. But, they might uh, be owned by Dana White soon. Will you leave them alone? Uh, oh, there it is. There it up. is right there. There it is. Lee Wilder, KO of Breezel, peaked at? 900,000 views. They can't even lie ah! about it well. <laughs> Everybody's all, oh, these, are, these viewerships are going to be so crazy. I can't wait to see how many people watch this fight. He's the hottest thing well, since Tyson Fury. Well, here's why they don't Fury. have to watch it, Andrew, because oh, I did my, my homework on this. Before I get to it, for those of you who don't know, go on YouTube and type in Deontay Wilder, Dominic Brazil, right? So it's been cut up and turned into like one second blast. He's done like 5 million views on YouTube oh, and I, probably I, social media. I understand I'm sure that, at least nine, 5 to 10 million people have seen the knockout, Andrew. Nine, but what does that do for his career? 9.6 million watched at cbs.com. They watched the, the little, uh, what was it, highlight that they right. had. Right. Why would I pay the for showtime? The problem is, be the, able to get to the, fight. the problem is, you guys, they watched a punch. They didn't watch a fight. They have no interest in the fighters. They don't know who's laying on the ground, and they don't know the guy that landed it. Because if only 900,000 people gave a damn to tune in, and 9.6 million, you're saying, is what watched the highlight? They watched that because it came over their computer. Now, maybe if you can stream something where you can get it to go viral before it happens, but no, not impressive that something went viral on Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury. Versus Deontay Wilder went viral. That went that twelfth round was epic. Tyson Fury's um, um, getting up that Undertaker meme was watched by millions. Correct, Lee? Am I am I lying? Uh, no, you're not. Nine hundred thousand tuned into his next fight. Fuck out. All here. right, so they got a million people to watch the that fight on Showtime, right? So as of August twenty eighteen, I'm looking this up right now. They uh, are on track. They were on track to have 8 million subscribers in 2019. So let's say that they had 8 million subscribers and a million of them watched it on Showtime. But they're including everything. See, I this don't is know bullshit. what they've... Yeah, Through live know. streaming, on demand, replays, they're only counting 1.1 million views, which I don't know if that's a fair number. What I really want to know is how many people right? How many people really watch? Fuck this streaming thing. Doesn't how count. Does, that's why everybody one, counts it different. How many how people does, were on Showtime? Because that's all Steven Espinosa gets a part of, I think, right? So at the end of the day, what are we saying 886,000? Are we saying 10% of Showtime subscribers actually watched Deontay Wilder? Um, if you read, it says Wilder Breezel Brout attract a peak audience of 990. Okay. Down okay, there. A shade over 10% of Showtime. So Showtime's got about a Are 8 you million sure? people. Where did you time. see that 8 million? Because they used to have more than that, but I do understand a lot of people have uh, given up cable ba, lately. Ba, 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 right here. How many subscriber, subscribers does Showtime have? The service for Showtime, a CBS All Access. Carries a broadcast network programming and originals are on track to reach 8 million subscribers in 2019, a year ahead of companies. Wow, projected they've really to fallen off. Wow. Yeah. They used to be they in don't... the teens. Lee. Well, it's that. Used it's to... just in Merkowitz or what's what's the name of the they, two? They used to be teams. like at 12 and Showtime was like at 17. I mean, HBO was, it was about three or four million subscribers higher than them. But they weren't that low. 8 million. Wow. 8 that, million. A lot of a lot of people have been dropping their cable. Um, so, yeah, I guess can't be too surprised. 
So they're saying they're streaming service, but I think they're counting Showtime subscribers. I think this is all bullshit. It doesn't I matter if it's bu- Lee, it doesn't matter if it's bullshit or not. Give it a right number. 990 is what it peaked at during the main event. Okay, 10%. That, that does not translate into a hundred million dollars. Sorry, Deontay. So you need to go talk to your, your advisor and ask him, how am I supposed to demand a hundred million when 990,000 people watched my fight? That it that's <laughs> You guys, we we are talking about you. You've got to make upwards of what, Lee, two point four million pay per view buys, or and we can't even talk about pay per view. Not HBO. I don't think HBO or Showtime turns into money. I think that's but flat performance fee. I, I know because Lee, when he's demanding the hundred million, he's demanding that from Joshua. Joshua fights from for for DAZN. We know this, right? Right. How are they supposed to generate? 200 million dollars before the fight is even uh, uh, the fights on the streaming app well you gotta put uh, and i'll tell you how you have to do it right and this is why wilder's a douchebag so now he's got to take any ties he's got to take any anthony joshua deal to get paid he does i don't care what anybody says right it's not a great number it's not a great number realistic about it he's worth 25 million a fight if he fights if he fights Anthony Joshua, I'd offer him 25 million. Not even 50, not even 100 million. Fuck him. I would not offer him 100 million. I'm sorry. He hasn't. I'd offer him 25 million. Proved that he can... That's all I drop on the table. Anybody who offers him more than that per fight is stupid. What do you there... think he made on this fight? 10 I'm, million? I'm going I'm to tell you guys something. <laughs> History shows when a fighter that's supposed to be like Deontay, the, the face of boxing, an undefeated heavyweight champ. When these guys go to pay-per-view, they're not supposed to come back to, to network television. They're really not. Your De La Hoyas, your, your Floyd Mayweathers, the, these guys, your, your Mike Tysons, they didn't come back to network. Over the hill, don't, you know what, don't hold me that. Over the hill, I understand. But you know what I mean, Lee? We're talking when these guys are making millions of dollars every fight, Manny Pacquiao, it's pay-per-view, pay-per-view, pay-per-view. How else are they supposed to generate $25 million to pay these men. I'll you. go a step further, Andrew. I will go literally a step further. I'm going to stop shitting on Deontay Wilder as a boxer. Okay? Let's just take that out. He has made some horrifically bad yep. business moves. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, I mean, sir. that's the bottom line here. We can all talk about it for days and days, whether or not he's the baddest man on the planet or whatever. And everybody can point to the literally tens of $15 million he's made being a boxer. I mean, it's not equating mathematically based on his skill, or you could look at it a totally different way, Callie King. He's making exactly what a B-level fighter should be making. Because that's what he's making as a heavyweight. Tyson Fury's worth more money. Uh, I don't want to break it to anybody. Anthony Anthony Joshua's Joshua's worth worth a whole hell of a lot more money. Yep. Oh, the amount of money somebody makes doesn't determine how good a fighter it is. Watch when Yus gets into the picture how quick they're going to throw $100 million in his face. Anthony, Watch how fast it happens. Anthony Joshua's first fight was in New York. It broke a record for most uh, sold seats in the first uh, so many hours. Um, Deontay Wilder has 40-something. And, and that's another thing. People that keep comparing these two resumes together – you need you guys need to realize one man has over 40 opponents, 40 victories. The other guy is at 20. So when when the the, the people that you're comparing, sometimes they fought Anthony Joshua when he had what? 8 wins, 10 wins, and they're fighting Deontay Wilder when he's 30 and 0. <laughs> so you guys got to watch how you're like, "Oh, see, man, he fought him better and he fought look at that that round he beat him." It, right. it doesn't really work that way. So why does it work? Okay, so here's a really good point, right? So we were talking about this before we started. Um, Hector Camacho Jr. just hey, came hey, back Lee, over the weekend, right? Lee, the last but time I... Point. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, the last time I checked, Lee, Mayweather knocked out Ricky Hatton in eight rounds. Pacquiao knocked out Ricky Hatton after in two. Did that have anything to do with their two um, when they met up? So no. don't give me this shit. Breezel got knocked out in eight. Wilder destroyed him in one. So, but case closed. It's over. 
Don't give me that. No, dude, I'll go a step further, right? Camacho Jr. makes his return to the ring this past weekend, right? He's got a name. That's it. That's why you pay for him to show up at a fight. You're buying Macho Time Jr. or whatever the fuck he goes by, right? He <laughs> fights a guy who is nine and two, and he gets a knockout. So you want me to count that as a legitimate knockout towards this guy's actual record? That's what we're doing here with with uh, Deontay Wilder. We're counting guys who have never been heard from again in boxing. Literally never been heard. I, I guarantee that if we go below the first five fighters, Andrew, we cannot, I'll bet, I'll bet right now without even looking it up, none of these guys have even fought in the past year. That's an interesting test, right? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't really? go that far, but I I would. they probably fought nobodies, Lee. I don't even think they're going to get that kind of time, right? Oh. Let's see. All right. Let's hey. see what happens. I mean, everybody's talking about him like he's the second coming of Christ as a heavyweight boxer. He's not. I, he just still hasn't. For a guy who talks that he's so dominant, Andrew, so dominant. I'm so dominant. I'm so I'm devastating. Okay all, Look at yeah, my hand. I'm, I'm so dangerous. All right, let's start with, I said below the top five, right? So I'll be fair. Vermaine Stravine, you think he's fought in the last year? Uh, yes, of course he has. Okay, let's see. Last fight <laughs> yeah. for Bermain Stravine was Joe Joyce. Oh, it's so, coming up. Right, oh, no, he lost to he Joe Joyce. Fight. And he has Wait, one fight. And here it is. Literally in that two-year gap. <laughs> Everybody just fucking calm down, all right? Fucking, oh, then Joe Joyce must be just as good as Deontay Wilder. I doubt it. Gerald Washington. 18 and 0 with one draw, Andrew. You think he made it back to boxing yes, in the past two years? Did. Yes, of course he did. Okay, I let's seen see. him. He got knocked out. He lost. <laughs> yeah, right. He lost again. TKO to Kalnaki. Kalnaki. Yeah, Kalnaki. Right. Remember, remember that's when he came in looking like he was all in shape. Kalnaki's like this fat ass white dude, ball head. He still wins. Oh, uh, therefore, yeah. Kalnaki must be as good as as Deontay, right, Andrew? <laughs> Well, let's just go with what everybody says, right? Look at how quick he knocked him out. So, okay. okay, let's keep so doing he, it. Chris Ariola. Hey, look at Dominic Brizzo. Again. I don't even know what Chris Ariola does. I think he's a plumber now. I mean, yeah, he's fu- I, Lorenzo. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Hey, but I understand what you're saying. They are they're nobodies. Go to Dominic Brizzo. I would like to see the record of Anthony Joshua when he fought him. Because he fought yeah. Tyson Fury at 40 and 0. Go down. Go down. Oh, you want to do it that way? Yeah, it's right there. Dominic Breeze is there. Bang. And he fought okay. Joshua, what, three years ago? 16 and 0. You guys need to relax, man. That's what I'm talking about. Got to relax no. with the comparing. No, yeah. it took him all the time to knock him out. Anthony Joshua is not as good as Deontay Wilder. Right. Yeah, right. I know. Three years I... ago. Three years ago, bro. 16 and Three 0. Years ago. <laughs> Three years ago. You beat him when he was 16 and 0. <laughs> I'm fascinated with Deontay fans. I know. No, it, it is. It's It was bad. They look. Listen, the, the showcase worked, man. Lee, I don't want to look. Here's Lee. the thing, and I'm gonna say it to right now to all the Deontay Wilder fans. Look at the screen. Go watch the video. Everybody, take a minute. Go over to Fight Net Radio. Click on Facebook or YouTube You're and right. look at the video. See all these titles. You see those see all names. These titles? The names. See all these titles. See all these titles. See all these titles. Look at it. I don't want to break it to anybody. Lee. Huh. Dillian, Dillian White, number one contender. Breezel, uh, uh just fought Wilder for the belt. Melina Garbage, Klitschko, Legend, Takum's going to fight Usyk here soon. Go down. I, these are all fucking names. Uh, no, you got to go up. Go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph Parker, Parker Alexander Povetkin. Get out of here. This is, this is the top ten on his list. And now yeah, he's going to put one, Andy look, Ruiz. I don't want to break it to anybody. This one by itself with a TKO, you can all shut the fuck up. Yeah, it, and it was an awesome fight. And Lee, what's his record? Let's go. What is he? 18 and 0? 
He if he was sick, he's 18 and 0, 17 and 0. That's his 18th win. You guys need to quit. The, the yeah, you do. Is, you really yeah, do. The, you really do. And I don't want to break it to anybody. He's the IBO, WBA, IBF, WBO, right? That's Champion. what that's what legends do. You see, when Chavez fought De La Hoya, De La, or De La Hoya fought Chavez, he was only, what, 20, 21 years old, something like that back then? He TKOs Chavez in four rounds. Uh, th this is what, what legends step up to the pay plate. This is something Canelo failed in big when he went up against Floyd Mayweather. They thought he was an all-time great. It looks like Canelo's still on his way, but they overshot his greatness on, on that particular time. And this one, they did not. Anthony Joshua had 17 professional fights, took out a living legend. And don't tell me that, that, that Klitschko was overrated or, or, or on the way down. He had a 12-round decision loss to Tyson Fury that was basically on one punch. Like, seriously, there, there wasn't a lot dividing Fury and Klitschko the night they fought. One, it was one of the, the – the, it, it put you to sleep. It was the worst, one of the worst heavyweight championship fights of all time. Seriously, it's Fury versus Klitschko. Very boring fight. Klitschko was not beaten up that night. The night he fought Anthony Joshua, what does he drop? Three times? Is he TKO'd? He's on all fours? Uh, uh, you know what everybody's discussion is? Well, Vladimir didn't have to fly to anybody. I want to break it down for everybody. Undefeat Tyson Fury's undefeated at that point. Brian Jennings was undefeated at that point. Kubrat Pulev was undefeated at that point. Yeah. Lapai, Pavetkin. Fuck. Dude, he fought everybody. Tony Thompson, who was the hey, hot ticket. David Hay. G. Mark Mormick. David Hay. Samuel Peters. These were all names, Andrew. I know. These were all names. Look at how long so, he is the undisputed heavyweight champion. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, he didn't fight in the U.S. Shut up. You, you know a lot of you know a lot up. of the Wilder you know a lot of the Wilder fans didn't even watch Fury Klitschko. You do know that, right, Lee? They don't know about that fight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna say it. It's I get it from a cultural standpoint. You got a guy who talks shit, who's got the gold, he's got the bling. He's Mayweather, but he's a heavyweight. Great for you guys. He hasn't fought anybody. He's being a bitch. He's being a bitch. No, 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 no. You can't say. You just said you weren't going to talk about the fighter. You can't say that because he's not. Deontay Wilder has proven in the ring he, he deserves to be there. He might not have the skill like the other guys. But his heart, his power, and the athleticism that he possesses in the ring has proven him the right to be there. So we can't call him a bitch. But his business decisions, whoever the fuck is his advisor, I, I could have swore that guy's being forced to sell his company too. I don't know how much of a boxing whisperer you can be when you're being forced out of your own shit. But that guy, that advisor, $8 million, $5 million, $40 million. 50 million, 100 million, 120 million. Deontay, what are we doing here? We, we, I, I pray that he, he's successful at what he's doing, but Lee, the numbers weren't good on his first swing. This is Deontay's first swing at the $100 million jackpot with Anthony Joshua Lee, 990,000. That's not doing it. That's not, that doesn't make Eddie Hearn go, oh shit. We, you guys, you guys do Andrew. understand. Wait a minute. You're not going to believe this. Please. Hold on, Andrew. All right. Ah, all right. Go ahead. What? 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 We're being joined on the phone. Uh, you're, you're not going to believe this. Mind. You read my mind. Go ahead. It's Mauro Ranallo joining us from oh. Canada. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Oh, shit. I oh, my man. <laughs> you can hear that bunch of other in Brazil. Get it? Let me say it again. Brazil. <laughs> Did you like the fight, Andrew? That could be one of the worst calls sports has ever seen or heard, Lee. Oh, um, Andrew, I can do there's, many there's a, bad calls. No, yeah. no, no. But, <laughs> that that thing was viewed by 9.6 million people. 9.6 million watched it. They don't know who's fighting, and they hear what a punch. Oh, fuck. 
Mama Mia. I got Mama it from Mia. the videos out. What do you think? Hey, Lee, Lee, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't Mama sound Mia. good. It doesn't I sound like good. It, Mama Mia. I feel like it's an Abba song, Andrew. I don't think I invented this. Stupid. That it was Mal Ranello calling us from Canada. Nah, I want. I don't even want him having time with that bullshit, Lee. It sounds Mama bad. Mama Mia. <laughs> it sounds bad in whatever you put it behind. It's the stupidest thing in sport. It, go, Mama, Mama Mia. Mia. Let's sounds try it stupid. Out. Andrew has a big giant penis. Mama Mia. <laughs> You're so stupid. Lee. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm stuck behind Andrew in a checkout line. Mama Mia! That's a really funny joke if you've never stood in a line behind a person with a lot of kids. And I picture it the same way that I picture every time I'm behind a group of several small children who look like they might be into the candy section. What I was texting Andrew, there was, I don't, was it you or Diana that I was texting? Like there was a kid in the fucking freezer. Like one of the brothers had locked one of the brothers in a free. These aren't Andrew's kids, by the way, but that's how I picture Andrew's boys. Like one's locked in the ice freezer while the other one's holding it shut. Am I not far from the truth? I hope not. I hope not. Yeah. You know the one I mean, right at the supermarket? Well, where yeah, Giovanni, we can't even let out yet. He's still stuck in the, the cart until we're out of the store. <laughs> can't put him down, dude. He's out. <laughs> Does he just grab like cereal and walk it over? Yeah, no, but yeah, he'll run. He'll he'll run, and and he don't care. Don't tell me you gotta discipline him. Yeah, you know what he does? He he'll, he'll scream, or he'll cry, or you know, it's not going your way. Just because you spank him doesn't mean that he get not this one. The other two, they're awesome. Junior's awesome. My daughter's awesome. She was always a good little girl. This one, this third one, shit, man. The the spoiled one. I guess. I don't know what it is, dude, but yeah, he stays in the cart. We don't take him to the movies. Could barely take him out. Lee, you've seen at the <laughs> wedding. He shouldn't even... <laughs> this is why we don't go out, bro. Come on now. Uh, they, please don't visit one... that in the archive. My description of Andrew's son literally walking baskets of candy over so that he could be fed in continuous manner. And eyeballing and picking out exact it was it was uh Willie's wife. Like he yes. wanted her to like he didn't want me to do it, he didn't want Will to do it, he wanted her to do it. And actually got offended when anybody else tried to help, which was even more awesome. Made me love him even more, Andrew. He was that Lee, awesome. Can yes. I tell can I tell can I get back on track real fast before you I lose can it? Get right back on track. You guys mark my words right now. ESPN app, Tyson Fury versus Schwartz will do more. Lee, did you hear me? It is going to do more than a million, 1.2 million views. I'm dead serious about this. This is this is bad news for Deontay. Wow, remember that third bomber shit? That third, I'm the, the bronze bomber? You yeah. better not come in third place on the viewership. Right now, Anthony Joshua is making big noise in New York. I, I expect him to flatline Andy Ruiz. You guys, this was such a tailor-made opponent for Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz stays on the inside. The kid's got speed. He's got power. I like his hands. But I don't like his arm length. I don't like his defense. I don't like the fact that he can't move around the ring. I don't even know if he bends over. He's got a big belly. I really do. I think he's, he's George Foreman, right? This is not good against Joshua who throws – four to five punch combos. I, you guys are either not watching them or you forgot. But Joshua throws combinations. This, this kid isn't just about the one, two, or the or the jab right, left, jab right, left. No. Anthony Joshua brings it. That's why he defeated Klitschko in the way that he did. Yes, he was hurt. Yes, he was down. He's been hurt before. They're heavyweights. Punches land. But at the end of the day, nobody or no, Parker, only Parker has went the distance with, with Joshua. He And his list, dominating. Fucking dominating. You're, you are a fool. You don't know shit about boxing if you don't not come to an understanding that Anthony Joshua's resume towers over Deontay Wilder's right now. You cannot demand the same money when, like, I don't know, what was it? Six of the top ten 
are already on his list, and Anthony Ruiz is about to be added in a few weeks. Go to fightnetradio.com for all of your updates, stories, and more. Let's get to the heavy lifting, and then we'll do the dessert of the day, Andrew. Nice. We kicked off the day by having the uh, infamous Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman press conference. They are kicking off their world tour. They were in New York today. Today is Tuesday. You'll get this tomorrow. They will be in Beverly Hills tomorrow to talk about this great fight and uh, talk about their epic battle for a guy. Who, when, when was the last time that was, Keith Thurman fought, Andrew? How long? How long? He Osito. He's got one fight in two years, and he almost lost. He was almost knocked out by Josito Lopez. Um, hurt badly in the fight, but hey. Manny he, what Pacquiao. He's, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Manny Pacquiao had this to say. I've never been scared of a challenge. I'm so excited for this fight against an undefeated champion. He's the kind of fighter that you can't underestimate. His record and successes uh, gives me more motivation to work hard. I will make sure that 100% that I'm 100% and ready for the fight. We'll find out what happens on July 20th, but I'm it's going to be exciting. I like being the underdog for this fight. Do you believe he's the underdog, Andrew, at all? No, not today. Um, he's a veteran. He still throws a thousand punches. Uh, Keith Thurman had a majority decision victory over a showcase. I can't get over that. Now, Thurman's trying to sell to us, Lee, that he was getting, you know, he was preparing by himself. I heard him say that today. And uh, and that, you know, that he's an athlete. There's ups and downs. Um, he was coming off an of injury. He's going to get better. So that's great. But I'm betting on the underdog in this fight. Uh, there's good money there if Manny Pacquiao's. There's good value if Manny Pacquiao's an underdog. Am I lying? Um, no. Josito I'm Lopez looking. almost knocks you out. And then after that, he almost got a decision victory. And I'm telling you right now, none of those judges want, wanted Josito Lopez to win that fight. There was nothing they could do but give him rounds because he was dominating the middle part of that fight against against uh, a tired, a very tired Keith Thurman. Lee, when's the last time we seen Manny get tired in the ring? Never. The answer is never, right? <laughs> yeah. I asked you and then answered it, bro. I'm sorry. It's all right. So, yeah, whatever the case. Odds. I'm interested. Uh, Do they have a betting? Do they have the betting now on what Manny's yeah, opening Yeah, there's has? one on Sporting News. I'm I'm looking it up right now. Okay. Uh, Keith Thurman, fight time, pay-per-view prize, odds, full card. Really, good for them. Uh, let's see. This comes to you from sportingnews.com. The U.S. version of the website is if it matters. And their final numbers... Uh, according to them, pro boxing odds as of May 21st. Uh, here it is. Why, Lee? Do you want me to? Popping? Do you want me to make you happy? After you tell me the odds, I'm gonna make you happy, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna do it. I think I got okay. it. All right, hold on. Uh, come on, computer. I'm telling you, last days for this computer. Uh, where are you? I had it up on the screen and then. A pop-up happened on my upper screen. Oh my god, a fucking video. God damn their website. Uh all right, odds. According to Pro Boxing Odds, Keith Thurman is a minus 150 favorite, which means you have to bet 150 to win hundred. Pacquiao will be plus one thirty-three. It's a fucking pick em, Andrew. And the way the the, the Philippine people are, that's they'll bet still... that down to fucking even. That's that's it, and you're absolutely right. See, it's why you guys listen to this fucking show. Lee's absolutely right. You got to bet that tonight. You got to bet that right now, okay? Because that's not staying that way. I'm sorry. They got it so close. And, and I'm going to I'm gonna tell you why I believe they put Manny as the underdog. You want to know why, Lee? I think Thurman's a sac, sac, sacrificial, sacrificial, lamb. sacrificial lamb here, bro. Listen, they're gonna put him. They're gonna put him as the underdog. They're gonna put him as the old guy who can't do it. Da, 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 boxing's he's more moving marketable. Past. He's nothing but money. That a hey, you give him this win, he beats Keith Thurman. If he knocks out Keith Thurman, if Keith Thurman was hurt against Lopez, so it's not out of you know the realm to think that Manny couldn't do it. 
to, to Thurman. He, this guy is knocked out many in his career. TKO'd, flurry of punches. Guy wears down. Ref stops the fight. You got your Mayweather, too. You got it. There, he will be back on top of all PBC. PBC is going to – listen, Floyd's been quiet for a reason. Is he waiting for this one outcome? If it doesn't happen, then he probably goes another way. But we know Floyd is into the, the one fight and done thing, right? If Manny yeah. can somehow get hot, and I think this fight would make him hot because we're setting him up to lose already when he shouldn't really be the underdog. But that's why I think Vegas is doing it. That's why the PBC is doing it. It gets you interested. Is he still got it? Maybe he can beat him in all of the is Filipino cards. At the press conference? He's asleep. You know, leave him alone. He didn't eat. Um, he gets mad, so they just tell him to shut his eyes and have happy thoughts, Lee. That's what he's doing there. Very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't even know how to respond. You know, Pooh Boy's a mayor now, right? I think he's a mayor. Google it, bro. Pooh Boy just won a seat in the Philippines. Both of these dudes lived under a bridge together, and now they're both political forces eh, where they're from. It's awesome. It's an awesome come up. Pooh Boy, I believe, is a mayor now. All right, hold on. I'll look Here's it up. him. But you're asking Pooh Boy. You know he's a patsy. What do they call him? A patsy? Ah. Yeah. Oh. They're going to do Poo Boy in in the Philippines, but hey, ride it while Wouldn't you're hot. Wouldn't it be great right? if he's the one who tries to assassinate President Manny Pacquiao? No, nah, it's not. There's going to be some he's kind of financial. Mayor. Pacquiao's trainer, Poo Boy Fernandez, he is the vice mayor. Vice mayor. There you go. Yeah, the, I'd watch out for the mayor there. He's going to be having them sign some shit he shouldn't sign. The mayor uh, got Fernandez it in. Fernandez, who Poo ran Boy. under the DPD Damn. Laban one in a tight race. Yada, 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 as an independent, he's the chief trainer, Pacquiao, blah, blah, blah. There you go, Andrew. Good call. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. Uh, and here is what uh, uh, Keith Thurman had to say. We're ready. We're ready, Andrew. This is it. I feel blessed to be here. It's a dream come true. I started boxing at uh, 7. Worked hard to be champion. I've always wanted to fight the greatest names in the sport. Or Manny Pacquiao. I don't know if I'd say the greatest. Pacquiao wants a challenge. I'm very grateful for sharing the ring with the legend. If you understand boxing history, you know the times change. I believe boxing is in a new era. Come July 20th, Pacquiao will disappear. He'll always be remembered in the sport, but I'm doing to Manny Pacquiao what he did to Oscar De La Hoya. Really? He did? Uh. Uh, this is the big fight. I've waited 22 months to get back in the game. We had our ups and downs, but Keith Thurman is back on the rise. I'm going to make a big statement. This training camp is going to start this Saturday once I get home. It's grind time, and on July 20th, it's going to be my time, Andrew. July 20th is 23 years in the making. I've dedicated myself to this beautiful sport of boxing for so long, and my first trainer, Ben Getty, told me, that I had what it takes to be a great champion. I'm truly looking forward to having another chance to show it. Well, he said all the right things. He said all the right things. That's yeah. Um, I don't know if I believe it. He hasn't put in a lot of work recently. Listen, it, it, Keith Thurman was on the pound for pound ranking what four years ago. I mean, it's a long time. I don't know who he is today. The guys had injuries. He's had a, a lack of desire. He he said it himself. I'm not the same guy that I was when I was trying to fight for the belts. What? The guy won two titles, and literally that came out of his mouth. Two titles. Like there hasn't been a two-time champion in the sport of boxing, right, Lee? Yeah, you, you've done <laughs> incredible, incredible things there, Keith. So I don't know where he's at. Um, got married. Traveled the world, you know, said he was injured, kept saying injury, injury, injury. Comes back, Josito Lopez almost knocks him out. Josito Lopez almost decisions him. Decision. They, they Majority decision was that call. Manny's been fighting. Manny's active. Manny's got Freddie again, too. I, I believe he's working with Freddie on this one. Manny's one win away. That's all they got. That's Manny's motivation right now. You're one win away 
from the check you've been asking for. The reason why he left Bob Arum, the reason why he didn't fight Terrence Crawford, it all might come to him if he can beat Keith Thurman. That's the only motivation he needs to beat Keith Thurman. Andrew, joining us by phone from Las Vegas, Nevada, it is none other than the Bob father, Bob Arum. Hello, Andrew. Yes, sir. I made this pucker. I, I should be getting a piece of this fight. <laughs> Might not be the too much. Yeah, we'll see what it makes. Listen, this little Filipino kid who I found, right? The fucking back jungles, kicking trees and doing crazy ass shit. Turned him into a world class fighter, Andrew. It was all me. Say it. Yeah, that's good. You just give him good matchmaking. You always have. I don't. Why do you need someone to say it? Say it. Oh, jeez. He's getting old and grumpy and. He doesn't. Uh, I don't gonna, think. Okay. All right. Look. Fucking Bob crap. Fuck it up for me. What do you expect? <laughs> my wife's keeping an eye on me. My side piece is keeping an eye on me. And now I can't even go to a fucking rub and tug, Andrew. I mean, I'm just calling it for what it is. It's Bob Kraft's fault. He's fucked it up for all of us. I'll probably wind up having to get another side piece, Andrew. I'm just telling you. Hmm. They caught on to the drug use. They caught on to my alcohol, Andrew. Stay in school to all the little girls out there in the world. Stay in school. Stay off the pool, bitch. Whoa. Where did that come from? That, that's Bob sitting on his mute button on the remote. <laughs> Boxing, whatever that was, Sporting News just literally randomly launched a video. What the fuck? Ha! Ah! All well, right, that kind you're of... one you're one win away, Lee. You're one win away from having your fucking prediction come two and a half, three years later. How many years? What are we? Five years later? I'll <laughs> These get it. Guys, Don't this... worry. It's I know. I swear to I God, expected. they drug this thing there. out. <laughs> Go to fightnetradio.com. Click on everything. Click on the FNR store merchandise button. Pick up the basic bitch. It's our. Uh, basically our little promotional shirt we do it at cost we'd love for you guys to get your hands on it also we have fights coming up in las vegas and so you want to go to las vegas discount.net las vegas discount.net your home for savings of over 50 percent on your next trip to vegas yes it is the vegas.com website this is our link you will be supporting the show not vegas.com got it go to las vegas discount.net now for the dessert of the show, Andrew. All four of them are tasty stories. Where do you want to start? Jay-Z being sued? That's the most recent. I find it kind of enjoyable. So, it's not uh, enjoyable. Andrew, you and I have been arguing for quite some time that Jay-Z was a shitty promoter to begin with. Uh, <laughs> now, Jay-Z is being sued by... Oh, by the way, all four of these stories come from TMZ. So take them with a grain of salt. I just fucking love TMZ. They run the best stories. Jay-Z being sued, uh, sued by Rock Nation boxer over severe brain injuries, Andrew. Jay-Z is being sued by former Rock Nation boxer who blame uh, who blames Hova and the company for severe brain injuries he suffered after taking three fights in 79 days. Let me say that sentence again. He was forced to take three fights in 79 days. He by the way, forced. when Nobody... you're starting out, that's not a bad pace. And not it forced. Actually, Where does it say forced? I didn't say fourth. Third fight, oh. 79 days. Yeah, that, that's terrible. Think? Yeah, that's ter I thought they put that in. I was like, they, you can't sue someone over that. That's bullshit. Jay-Z didn't Three force Three fights anything. in 79 days isn't a bad pace, Andrew. When you're starting out, you're taking fights almost on a monthly basis. Right. No, I hear you. I, Every it's three been done. four weeks, unless you are not medically cleared. So who he should uh, – before I continue with this – he should be mad with the uh, athletic commission for approving him and not picking up on concussions or things of that nature. I don't think you can force a dude to take a fight. I just that's, don't. I know. That's what I mean. Lee is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boxer so. behind the lawsuit is named Daniel Franco, who claims he signed a deal with Rock Nation back in 2015 and won his first five fights with Jay-Z's company. But the problem started in 2017. Franco claims... He came down with a bad flu before a big fight, which sidelined him for training for three weeks. Franco claims that he told Rock Nation he needed to postpone or cancel the March 23rd fight 
but Rock Nation pressured him into fighting anyway. How do you do that? Like, did they send somebody over with a gun? Yeah, that's and like this a baseball is bat. This is badly written. This is a bullshit. This, this is they're trying to get. They're trying to. This is clickbait on Jay Z's name. This is TMZ. TMZ's big in the more in the music. I don't know if that's look. I'm that saying that Daniel bait, Franco man. probably filed this lawsuit, Andrew. Of course, but the words that they're putting, he forced them to fight. He didn't force shit. You should have backed out. Over. I know. Stuck a hey, gun you, in my mouth. You're going to get in that ring. <laughs> we got people in front of your house right now. <laughs> Wait, it gets better. Franco says he lost badly in the third round and should have taken time off to recover, but instead of Rock Nation booked him again 50 days later. By the way, that's a month and a half. I hold on here. I already have a problem with this. So literally a month and a half later, they wanted you to fight again to get your record back up and you have a problem with it. Uh, then Franco claims Rock Nation booked him for a third fight just a month later on June 10th. I, Andrew, I don't have a problem with any of this. Franco claims that Rock Nation never took steps to make sure he was medically fit. Why should they? They're the fucking promoter, asshole. Your doctor. Oh blame, my God. blame, blame. Yeah, it's just a blame game. Medical, medically cleared. So, Andrew, based on your knowledge of boxing, and I am currently working on being a promoter, is it my job to medically clear my fighter for boxing? If you're a good promoter, you want your fighters looked after, right? You don't. You're not trying to send a man in the ring with a fractured skull. You're a piece of shit if you're doing things like that. Without the man's knowledge. It, now, look at If he's Marco Antonio Barrera and he tells you, I'm going to put a plate in my head and I'm continue to fight, well, then, hey, if that's what he wants to do, then he can do that. And I, I just don't like the way it's worded. Nobody forced him to do this. It, you can't, unless he has proof, unless he has a wire or a contract or his, a threat. He literally got his ass kicked and he's looking for a payday. Look at the of dude with the helmet, he, all right? He's hey, special Lee, needs he took, no, Lee, he took a serious beating. He has brain injuries now. That He doesn't even look the same. The young man in the photo above is not the same man there sitting on the table. It's a sad situation that he's going through. But, but you can't just say, oh, you know what? You forced me to do this. I need some money now. It doesn't work that way. I, I don't see people agreeing. And let, like I said, unless he has proof a wire, a recording, a voicemail, a text where Jay-Z, I, I don't even know if, <laughs> it's got to be Jay-Z saying you I'm need to get in the Jason ring. showed up with a gun, Andrew. That's the story I'm going with. In yeah, fact, I'm it, going to put that in the title of the show. Now, Jay-Z now I, will with a gun, say, I will say this. Clickbait like everybody else. No, that's stupid. Jay-Z, Jay-Z no, that's, that's Jay-Z not going to get us anywhere. That's not going to get us anywhere. It's his dumb See, story. It's not even Jay-Z. They just use Jay-Z's name. It's Jay-Z sued by Rock Nation Boxer. Unless he's named in the suit, I suspect that Rock Jay-Z is being sued by former... Is it directly Jay-Z? Like, Jay-Z showed up and, like, roughed him up with Listen, a bunch of dudes? What, like, what, six we dudes need to showed go up down, at his door and, like, roughed him up? We need to go down to the end of the article. What is, is sad is if Jay-Z hasn't followed up with his medical bill since he's been hurt in his uh, card. A a lot of the times, Lee, good promoters, wealthy promoters, right? I'm going to tell you one, Al Heyman has been paying for Pritchard Cologne's medical bills ever since that young man went down in one of PBC's first fights that they put out. It was a real bad situation, but they, you know what? His family is always blessing Al Heyman. So you got to give Al Heyman credit for that. Well, uh, Al Heyman has an endless supply of money. It doesn't. And so does Jay-Z. All right? So so that's where it gets sad, is if Jay-Z hasn't stepped up and know. said he, he's looks the best. Beyonce no, looks he's got her own money. Lee, these are billionaires. What do you, come on. Come on. Stop. These guys buy each other islands for their fucking birthday I gifts. Stay quiet. I mean, there's a lot of work that has to be done. I mean, he smacks a lot of women around, too, Andrew. No, you know how costly that would get? Thing. No, he doesn't. Jay-Z's never been in trouble for that. That's stupid. Andrew. It's dumb. But you can't say that. Weird. He's never been in trouble. He's never been in trouble. Allegedly. You can say he sold you know, crack. He's you can say he sold, he sold crack. Know your thug stories. Jay-Z was a drug dealer who got away with it. Know that. 
Conor McGregor <laughs> wants a rematch. Damn it. I know I would win this time. Really? Uh, Give me $100 million. Conor McGregor says he wants another crack at Floyd Mayweather, and that's that he's learned from the first fight, saying that he's 100% confident he would win this time. I would win the rematch under boxing rules again, uh, Mayweather said to Tony Robbins during a uh, recent interview. I believe I would win. Don't they mean, Conor said, I mean, I, I don't want to go out on a limb. I, I believe. Uh, I think they've got this part wrong. Wow, we caught an edit issue on TMZ. These fucking guys don't read their website. Uh, actually, there I go again with the fake humbleness. I know I would win. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. McGregor really wants this. Oh, no, this is Mayweather saying it. Of course, Connor's first fight, uh, Floyd back in 2017, and Floyd beating on so badly in the 10th round. No, it's Connor. They actually got this wrong. Who cares? Yeah, this is Connor no McGregor. One's, no one's going down this rabbit hole by Tony again. Robbins. And by the way, who would listen to Tony? Here's a side note. All who those white guys. Tony Robbins? You know, Doesn't he have all, all kinds of issues people. with women right now? I don't know, but there's four white guys in the front, so that's who's listening right there. That's the only one listening. Lee, nobody gives a flying fuck about Conor McGregor right now. Seriously. Nobody's going to pay for him to fight Floyd. They're barely going to pay for him to fight in the ring. It all has passed him by. Everything has. He blew it. He had his moment. He had his window. It's not going to come back. And with the allegations that are still out on him, there's nothing there. Hopefully, his whiskey is really good. And they keep buying it, and he can just go set off, uh, go off in the sunset with the whiskey thing. But he is not a fighter anymore, and he's definitely not a boxer. Where the fuck is this interview on this video? So it's just audio? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is as shitty as a broadcast of Fight Net Radio on YouTube. <laughs> all right, listen, Andrew. First of all, Tony Robbins has got all kinds of issues because he's banging assistants and he got caught for being you know, a pay-per-play guy. So who gives a shit what happens with Tony Robbins? Second of all, Conor McGregor, uh, whatever. I get that he's trying to get paid again. It, It is $100 million, Andrew. You got to take a shot at it, right? He should have took a shot at boxing. He should have fought Paul Malignaggi in New York, Madison Square Garden, right after the Floyd fight. No, what did he do? He went back to the MMA to get beat up over there. You're already mentally fucked from what Mayweather did to you, and then you go back to the MMA and get handled again, you're out, especially the, all the stupid-ass things he said leading up to that beatdown. Um, it, it, they're over him. Listen, it, yes, in fighting, I know, oh, don't do that about fighters. We, we lose and come back. Listen, nobody likes the guy with the loud mouth that keeps getting beat up. So Conor McGregor happened to him back-to-back -back times. I do not see the 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 um fans his fans putting down another eighty dollars to watch him and Floyd do what a uh, exhibition if Floyd is not getting in the cage I don't even want to see Floyd with MMA guys anymore it's that fucking thing has been answered it's over listen MMA fighters in ring zero M boxers in MMA winning percentage it's over stop now if they want to go fight in the cage. Floyd needs to go fight in the cage, but I'm I'm past that too. The UFC is coming to boxing. Everyone know that. The UFC is coming to boxing. All of these guys are going to turn into fighters, and they're going to put on cards against probably the PBC guys. And they'll have PBC versus UFC all the time, and everyone will watch, and it'll be a big WWE fucking entertainment show. Now, hopefully, Dana White mixes some of that up with all the other guys, Dazzin and Golden Boy and Top Rank, but who really knows? As far as I know, if the rumor's true that the UFC's company is buying the PBC, I don't know too many guys want to fight in the cage anymore. The guys in the ring make a lot more money. They make a lot more money. It's very well proven. So, whatever. George Foreman makes the news. TMZ somehow tracked down the giant man. He was probably buying a burger somewhere. George Foreman says, Wilder versus Joshua could be bigger than Ali versus Frazier. <laughs> mm. Oh, yourself, he's trying man. to stay relevant. Yeah. Watch that Ali versus Frazier. Your status as be uh, as the biggest heavyweight fight of all time is in jeopardy, according to George Foreman. Uh, They're both dead. If Joshua and Wilder fight, it would be the biggest heavyweight fight of all time. 
just so you guys know, historically, uh, all the biggest fights have been heavyweights until Floyd Mayweather came along and changed the landscape. We asked Dale George again, and he doubled there, right? down on it. It will be bigger than anything, Andrew. Bigger than anything. He knows they're the TMZ knows Mr. Ali and Frazier aren't with us anymore, correct? I, <laughs> well, I also believe that George Foreman isn't really here with us either. I just, <laughs> I like, I think he's been preaching too long. I don't know what his issue is. Like he's, he's always just, like this. I, you know, that I told you Foreman's confidence level. His his soul is taken by Ali. Yeah, I know he won the title again against Moore. Whatever. Michael Moore was not Muhammad Ali. The biggest fight of George Foreman's career, he still is looking at the lights, and he knows it. He wakes up to it all the time. Um, it, it, I hate. He's always, oh, if that guy punched me, I would be knocked out. Oh, if I fought him, he would beat me up. Oh, and he always he used to, every time he was around Ali, he was like he was his little puppy. He, he would play right into Ali's hands. Um, I don't know. I just think, I think Ali took it from him that night. I know he brought it back years later with the one shot on Michael Moore, but Michael Moore in, in history is nowhere near what happened to him in, in, against Muhammad Ali. Okay, let's go a step further. Uh, Wilder versus Joshua, top 10 fights of all, does it make top 10 fights of all time? Not right now, no. No, I don't think the public knows it enough. You know, Lee, it's a hard, that's a hard one. Lee, we just went over his numbers. 990,000 off the biggest fight of your career. You guys need to understand, this man went from being viral already once with Tyson Fury, who's from over the pond, is a superstar, to being back on network television and not even doing a million on your on peaking on your fight. That is not good. I don't know who what they've been fucking hot air. They've been blowing up this kid's ass, but they need to stop because the numbers aren't fucking showing it. He is not America's heavyweight. He's not. More than 900,000 people tune in if you're the face of American heavyweight boxing. We have watched Terrence that, Crawford. We have watched Terrence Crawford do bigger numbers on ESPN. We watched Spence Jr. fight on, on basic television and get bigger numbers than this. This guy was viral in one of the biggest fights, the best fights. Lee, you want to talk classic? The damn Tyson Fury fight is a classic one. And I'm going to tell you why. It is a shutout by one man. He's winning the first eight rounds. you got to have Fury up 7-2. What? 6-3 maybe if you're a Deontay fan? Maybe. Or 6-2, excuse me. But in that ninth round, Deontay's right hand finally lands and it sends him down. And for the first time, you think, this ain't over yet. And then it's three rounds of Tyson bringing it back, boxing, making a miss, defense, ring generalship, everything. Then the 12th round is classic. That's the classic fight. Did anyone give a shit? Did anybody give a shit in his next fight? 990,000. I'm sorry, that's not good. That's not guys. Lennox Lewis and Tyson back in their heyday fighting for their networks. Oh my God, 990,000. You serious? You're the heavyweight champ? 40 and 0? Till this day, Andrew. Yeah, till this day. They. Mama Mia! The worst call ever. That, that, I, wait a minute. If you're that, if they could hear the punch all the way in Brazil. That hey. and Oscar walking on to I'm a hero has got to be two of the worst things that ever happened in the sport, bro. Seriously. That was a, that call is pathetic. I don't know. They need to play that shit back to Ronaldo and go, you see how this doesn't even, it doesn't make it a classic. This isn't, he's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up. Or you don't hook with a hooker if you don't have to. And he did. And that was his bad luck. It wasn't Mama uh Mia, Andrew, Mama. Mama Mia. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking T shirts stupid. coming soon. <laughs> Tyson Fury to Deontay Wilder. And this is my favorite way to end the show. Tyson Fury said, Hey Deontay, suck my nuts. It happened. Woo! It happened. You remember it? You see how sometimes the commentating makes the fight even better, right? It gets you in the moment. What he oh my if they felt it in Brazil. 
Mamma mia! Tyson Fury, hey, Deontay Wilder, suck my nuts. You know what this face is? This is the face of a dude who signed a multi-million dollar right. deal, Andrew. Right. That's right. The That's what this is. Working. That's a happy dude. Who do you want to fight? <laughs> sure. How much am I getting paid? Not like hey. that dipshit. Literally, Deontay, if you are if you see this today, if you're Deontay Wilder, you are screaming at people and throwing shit. Hey, hey Deontay, hey. suck my nuts. And I guarantee, if I were if I were really Tyson Fury, I'd say, how much did you get paid for that fight? <laughs> That's right. Lee, it should have been $20 million guaranteed in two minutes and 15 seconds. Two uh, minutes and Tyson 15 Fury seconds. Said Deontay Wilder's first round of Dominic Brazil was the high, was highlight reel stuff, but ain't enough to get the job done against the Gypsy King when they rematch. In fact, Fury has a message for his boxing nemesis. Deontay Wilder can suck my nuts. Yep. <laughs> That's how this clip went when we saw Fury in uh, New York City on Monday when he was on his press junket. Fury says Wilder ain't skilled in the sweet science. All he has is a puncher's chance, and it ain't enough to beat me beat him when they square off for a second time, whenever that may be. In fact, Fury took Wilder's best shot during their fight and got up twice. We asked what it was like to be hit by the bronze bomber. It ain't so bad. I got up, didn't I? Ooh. Fury says he's down to fight Wilder anytime, anywhere, saying he would agree to bare knuckle fight in Times Square right now if Wilder was willing to sign on the dotted line. Whenever the fight does happen again, Fury says he'll make sure Deontay is his bitch, adding, I promise he'll be looking at the stars. Tyson and Deontay Wilder fought to a draw first time around. Uh, best heavyweight fight in years. Wilder and Fury have said they want a rematch, but boxing politics may be getting in the way. It's not getting in the way of this dude. This dude's getting paid. The other one is letting the boxing politics get involved, Andrew. That's right. He, dude, wants to, he wants to stay loyal for, for some dimes, he's right? He's paying loyal. Yeah, I, I'm so loyal. They're but paying you to a smile on this man's face. This is the face of somebody who's getting paid, Andrew. And he can talk shit and do whatever he wants. He's happy. He's a happy man. He's going to Vegas and he's getting paid that night, Andrew. He's getting paid. I know. So I here's the thing. It. So this is what everybody's going to do. Tyson Fury, they're going to say, if Tyson Fury doesn't do a million views in his fight, right, on ESPN in June, no, right? No. Right? They'll say yeah. that Deontay... What drew whatever the case, right? So whoever draws more will be the real champion, right? It uh, doesn't matter. I, think... I already know this. Deontay will be making more than uh, will make less than Tyson Fury does in Vegas next month. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. Tyson Fury is going to get more money fighting a nobody than Deontay did against Dominic Brazil. No doubt, Andrew. Tyson. No doubt. Tyson Fury took an undefeated fighter. Um, I think he's German. Um, rolls. They're gonna Sausage play. Rolls, they're gonna play. Rolls, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. They're gonna do great numbers in the UK. They're gonna do right. great numbers in Germany, and then they're gonna look to do great numbers in America, and that's gonna put Tyson Fury in a position to work with the company that also is in those three, and that's uh, the Zone. Um, their headquarters in the UK. I know they work with TV rights with them. Uh, I don't believe DAZN is actually streamed in the UK. Um, and then they have Germany, though, already in America. And I believe somehow the ESPN app and DAZN will find a way to make their fight on a streaming app where it's not with pay-per-view. I don't know, you know, if DAZN can stay, if if they're selling rights to certain areas, why couldn't they? Ah, it's a hard it's a hard one. You know, it's a very hard one because they also have subscribers in North America. I don't know how they're going to do that fight. Dazzin's in a real tough spot here, Lee, because they're 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 basically telling everyone you need to be on our market or no fight. Correct? A am I right when I say that? Because More Lee, or less. It, because Lee, if they we are telling, they could sell it to Sky Sports and make that an Sky Sports amount of money, though. I and then just saying, do Dazzin USA, which is what oh, they normally do. But what I'm asking. 
is how is ESPN going to profit? Because ESPN is putting up one of their best I mean, fighters. They're- ESPN USA, right. Yes. I think ESPN will get the U.S. viewership. That's what they're going after. They probably got a piece of the back end. But Andrew, but now the is that to fair? Ask would be- Wait Andrew, a minute. Wait, I want to have a serious conversation. Phone. I'm going to ask you one more thing. Is All that right. fair to the, to the fans that have subscribed $100 for the Dazzin app? If you have both apps, you can't be paying extra for this fight. Right? No, I don't. Right. So what you're saying is if you're international and now you got Sky Sports is free in the UK, isn't it? No, I'm talking America, ESPN. Oh, no, no, no. How is it? Why would I why would I have to pay more profit? See, that's what that well, that's where Dazzin's gonna be coming up into. I don't know how to get past this yet. I was hoping that we were we'd figure it out on, on right now, but I don't know how they're gonna get past this. Either way, if if ESPN is willing just to put Tyson Fury up for nothing, maybe what a piece of his paycheck? Is that what we're gonna do here? Dazzin would have to give Tyson Fury what a hundred million, eighty million, and then and then ESPN and Bob would take from that. Hands are kind of in the air on this. I don't know. But I know Tyson Fury's working himself in a better position here than, than Deontay's first swing was a miss. It's an absolute miss. Now, damn it, we all know he has the power. People, we knew that going in. He already went viral once because of his power, okay? He needed to bring something else to this, and that was viewerships. He needed to bring out, did anyone hear about record-selling ticket sales? Did anyone hear about $15 million made at the gate? 18 million. Did, did we hear Tyson like prices? Front row seats, two tickets, 20 grand each. Huh? Anything? Because he's asking for Tyson money. His viewerships don't. So, do you guys know when Tyson came out of, when was out of prison? He did 47 million homes his first fucking fight. Do you know that, Lee? On Fox, the same network that is showing PBC fights. Tyson dominated. Now, different era TV wasn't as big, right? Probably not a thousand channels as there is today. But that's the heavyweight champion that you're saying I'm watching right now. Big swing and miss on the 990. Go to fightnetradio.com for all your updates. Uh, We will be back this weekend with all your updates. There isn't too much boxing to talk about. Nothing else major going on. Go to fightnetradio.com. Click on Facebook. Interact with us all week long. We'd love to hear your feedback and opinions. Not really, but we'll say that. I mean, more. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. I don't know how they're going to break the numbers down, darn it. Listen, the guy, George Foreman, saying Ali Frazier is Wilder. Joshua, no, it's not. It's Tyson Fury versus uh, Anthony Joshua right now. The two men that, that took down Klitschko, those two are fighting for supremacy right now. Anyone who thinks it's Wilder just needs to go watch last December, okay? And come come at me with your seven to, what was it? What was it? Eight to three, that stupid ass WBC ref had? Is that yeah. is that what he had? Some some outrageous, uh, it wasn't even eight to four. It had to be nine to three. I think it was nine to three because of the knockdowns probably. But it was so outrageous, bro. He had him winning the fight without even the knockdown in the 12th round. Come at me with that scorecard. I would love to see the rounds that you have Deontay Wilder winning. Anyone out there that had Wilder winning the Fury fight, he is the bronze bomber for a reason. He is third best. His numbers better not show that again, or hot air is all you guys have been speaking all over this fucking internet. All of these chat rooms, all of these posts, it is going to be pointless if Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua tower his numbers, both here in America too. Lee, am I I mistaken? Uh, Fury's fighting in Vegas? Yes, Joshua's fight, Joshua's fighting in New York. So they yes. came here and took both of the meccas of boxing. Well, you were at, I believe, the Barclay Center, which is cool. That's cool. That's cool. PBC shit. Two meccas. Where are they going to? Fight FightNetRadio.com Fight now!